What's going on Asian UK VIP here and welcome. Today I bring you um, a product from CKS and that is the CKS Thunder Kit. I actually have my Kelpie on the top because the tank, the soap bomb tank they include only has one coil and I wanted to save it for the review so I've been testing only the mod for quite a long time. I was in holidays with him, I really enjoy it. It is a dual 21700 or 2700 or 18650 with a very very unique things going on. You got two fire buttons, one on the front, one on the back. Yeah, pretty neat. Uh, very nice colorful screen uh, with this normally what you see on CKS going on in there. Got a very nice shape onto it. Like I said, dual 21700. Yeah, but obviously we go to all of that on the up and close. So what are we going to do now? We're going to dive down. Okay, so here is the packaging where your CKS Tundex. Inside that box, you're going to get your mod, your tank. You're also going to get a warranty card. Two battery adapter for your 18650. Gonna get a user manual, a charging slash firmware upgrade cable, and a few gaskets and O rings. Starting with the Sobomo tank, it is a 25 mil diameter, nothing engraved on the bottom. Gonna have your 510. Do not use Sobomo tanks on obviously um, hybrid mechanical mods. On the top, you're gonna have. 810 drip tip and is a very very nice one it matches the wind now uh, CKS always does the um, oh, the god of wind um, and here the drip tip matches I think that is beautiful gonna have your catch cup in there and the filling method is a sliding mechanism as you can see don't know if you can make it you're gonna have like a thunder in there you push it, it's very, very stiff, but it's very, very nice. It's not going to open on you. Going to have your filling method and there, as you can see, also very, very good um, to escape the air when you're filling. Juice capacity will be uh, 6 ml and you're only going to have this glass. Yeah, they don't provide any extra coil or any extra glass. Uh, I don't know, man, about that. On the bottom, you're going to have all the tanks going to be the wind going on all um as a laser hatch in there you're gonna have your airflow with the stopper obviously on both sides in gold as you can see very smooth very very nice and then when you unscrew you're gonna be able also to remove the glass like i say i even don't know if you break it if you're gonna be able to replace one because this tank is kind of rare to be honest. It's called the Bolt tank, by the way. It's not the Thunder tank, it is the Bolt. You got a massive O ring going on in here, but it holds very, very nice uh, the tank in there, so no issues. And here you're gonna have your coil. Now, this coil might look familiar, and that is because this coil is exactly the same as the fire look. Um, the, the first version it will not be compatible with the fire look 2 but all the fire look the mesh pro the normal one the resin one all of them all of those cores will fit in here so that is a pro to be honest um it is a cantle 60 to 90 recommended uh double mesh 2.2 ohm coil and as you can see it is that big mesh kind of honeycomb mesh going on in there and it's gold. Now, you're not going to be able to find another gold because I think they only make um, for CKS and find those coils is going to be very, very hard. So, yeah, here you're going to have your bottom, as you can see. Kind of makes contact also on the sides, it looks like. Got those bolts. Very, very clean. So, we're going to prime it. I never try, actually. It's the first time I'm going to try it because I didn't have any spare coil to... To actually try so first time you're using a sobom um, coil always kind of prime it to help it if you don't prime it um, you always oops as you can see I'm putting juice everywhere I even don't know where it come from oh yeah straight from the airflow as you can see went down the hole straight to the airflow but yeah always prime it you will help uh, if you don't want to prime it, you don't have to, but just make sure you let it sit for a very, very good period of time so you don't mess up a brand new coil. Then fill it up. And 
and that's it six ml going on in there and it's ready i'm gonna let it sit while we have a look at the mod and here is the mod the cks thunder it is a bit of fingerprint magnet especially after i had all that juice going on now on the top you're gonna have your platform and as you can see again all is all gonna be matching you know drip dip uh, the tank all the wind going down you're gonna have a nice 510 with a very very soft uh, spring load action going on in there you're gonna be able to fit 28 without any overhang to here okay that will be sitting there obviously your 30 is gonna start to bulge a bit but if you look from the bottom you're not gonna have any overhang you're just gonna have overhang because as you can see it kind of bulges it's not a flat platform going on in there uh, yeah the battery door is a bit floppy when there's no batteries in there but as soon as you put batteries in there it's not an issue gonna have fire button and then you turn it and you got another fire button yeah two fire buttons um they don't do anything like if you press both of them or something like that it's just one fire button and another fire button um i thought it's gonna be pretty annoying but to be honest it's actually not too bad down a button here is going to be your usb port and obviously your screen on the bottom you're going to have cks and you're going to kind of looks like the tesla logo going on in there when you open you're going to have spring load contacts on the bottom and your battery orientation not visible i wish it was you know gold uh, they got everything gold why not to put also the battery so this will fit 21 20s and 18 650s negative side up on this side and positive on this side now as you can see soon as you got the batteries no issues uh on the back you're gonna have this big logo like gold logo this is apparently the wind the god of the wind going on in there very very nice it's not too bulgy like the snow wolf this one actually look kind of nice and here you're gonna have obviously your screen now here so as well, i hope it's not very bright but this is the only way is to change my exposure to show you the screen because this screen is definitely not too bright even in person it's not just because of the camera so you're gonna have kind of your background and logo that can be changed gonna have your watts i don't know if you can make it there it's gonna be your ohms volt supply gonna have normal so uh normal echo mode and soft power mode puff counter and here those two lighting bolts gonna be your battery indicator now if you press one two three it's gonna show up your menu here on the side now you also can press the one on the back and here you're gonna have power temperature bypass update so for your uh, firmware settings brightness is actually on the max right now and system off if you want to turn it off if you choose power obviously you're gonna have power temperature control you're gonna be able here it is uh in night in nichrome i don't know if you can make it right there nichrome titan and stainless steel if you want to change that so look at right there when it's highlighting in red if you want to change it you just press up and down at the same time and it changed now for titanium and stainless steel here is going to be your fahrenheit go up to obviously 600 does not run the robin up but and does not run the robin down if you want to actually change from fahrenheit to celsius you just press the fire button twice one two and it will change to celsius now one two three uh, bypass mode i mean it acts like a mac but with all your protections update also for your software settings here you're gonna be able to clear your path and also wallpaper now wallpaper you're gonna have nine different ones and they kind of change all the background okay so let's say for example i choose this one here as you can see completely change it's completely different now you're gonna have kind of batteries I like it when all the wallpaper change everything on the back let's choose another one this one this one kind of the same just change the background as well as you can see um 
very very hard to read the screen especially on camera and obviously you're gonna have everything in there now one two three back to the menu here's gonna be your battery uh, your brightness and here system off you can choose yes or no and back to the main menu if you press up and and down uh, no fire button and down you will lock your screen it looks like a windows uh, window from the windows and unlock very very quick and that's it and you operate can operate also everything from the back gonna click the fire button on the back one two three as you can see acts very very nice so uh, everything works you can fire both of them I, w I wish they were like if you press both of them will do something does nothing if you press both of them so I mean it's just if you want to fire it um, is the only thing that you can fire from the back or from the front is really up to you now when you attach your tank is a 25 everything will line up and match it kind of pretty kit to be honest all together let me back that out look at that looks kind of sexy so i think we cover everything we're gonna come back on top i tell you where you can get it and we run to pros and cons All right, then we're back, and that was the up and close for the CKS Thunder kit. And I still vape my Kelpie. Yeah, I will tell you in a second why. So, where you can get it in price? I got this one at ecg1.co.uk, and uh, yeah, I think I got it for $59.99, and it was in sale, but it is at $49.99 now, also in sale so pros and cons this is where this review kind of give a big turn the reason is that i'm not vaping the actual bolt tank in here is because it doesn't work here uh it says check atomizer check atomizer all the time so i thought it was something wrong i tried to tie up again try it no no luck um when i throw it to any other mod he is on my double barrel it works great he only doesn't work on his own mod so that will be a very very big con uh, to be honest so let's start with with the tank like i said doesn't work there not sure why not not making connection i mean it should this supposed to be vaping on that mod um i didn't try it yet i have a, a light pull on it i want to keep it when i come to the up and close so let's have the first vape let me just change it's 40 watts so i'm gonna pull let's try at 50 they say 60 to 90 let's try 60 straight away 60 watts airflow wide open reading at 0.19 so very close airflow wide open let's have a toot okay okay um i will say more power to be honest because too much airflow let's go 70 watts wow and flavor oh jesus flavor i mean this is the fire look coils we know they're good so even like that i think it's too much airflow uh i gonna close it a quarter of the way let's have a tip Bear like that whoa flavor big pro for the flavor it is very very flavorful keeps wicking i can see bubbles happening so i knew at the coil it will not be an issue i mean i'm pretty sure they they actually was free max who manufactured them for cks um they are compatible they are the same so let's go to pros and cons on the tank um first con has to be obviously the biggest con it doesn't work on his own mod that is a con straight out of the box that is probably even one con that uh, i probably will not recommend the full kit or if you don't care about the tank like me i prefer just the the, the, the mod you don't mind to pay the 49 pounds but still if you have another mod it's fine you can vape it um 
other than that yeah no working in that it's pretty pretty bad i like the drip tip matching is a beautiful drip tip with all the the wind going on in there even the tank on the top on the bottom uh, i like the stoppers they are in gold very very nice the coil is gold to match the mod um flavor very very good now if you try the fire look it is going to be the same and you can even use their own coil so flavor is not going to be an issue or performance of the coils airflow pretty smooth uh, a lot of airflow this is this is a lot it has a lot of airflow going on in here i like the filling method very stiff so it's not going to open on you very very good all six mls one of the uh, other cons has to be uh, no extra coil and no extra glass and the glass i mean the coil it is a con they should include two coils but the glass if you break this glass where you're gonna find a new one because i can't see this tank anywhere uh for sale so yeah that's gonna be a very very big con especially if you like the tank oh where are you gonna get glass for this so yeah let's start on the mod now so uh cons and pros on the mod cons got a little bit a little bit of the rattle it is on the buttons on the fire buttons up and down a bit loose as well so i wish it didn't have that uh the battery door i mean it is good but if, with the batteries there it's gonna be stiff but i wish it was locking a bit better because you still can kind of you see it's a very very easy to pull it out you see that i don't have to do a lot of pressure i wish the door uh, was a bit more secure and third and final con has to be the screen is not bright enough um, it's nothing to do with the camera even now i look at it is not bright enough the font are very very tiny I wish they had changed that um, even though it's a beautiful screen you know I got the time in there I even can't read the time and I, I have perfect sighting I can't read the time uh, it's very very hard to read the time I don't know why they went to, to this kind of pattern and with such a dim screen I wish it was more bright the menu I like the menu and the chipset got a lot of options very easy to use I love the two fire buttons we kind of jump on pros now so it was three cons that was the battery door the rattle and the screen that is too dim now jumping onto pros i like the way it look is is very sexy even the symbol on the back i like i like the way it feel on the hand it's kind of bulky but it's a dual 21 700 be doing to dual 21 700 it is another very big pro i like that I like the two fire buttons even though i thought it's gonna be the worst thing on the mod i kind of like it i can fire wherever i want from here from here or even at the same time it works so yeah i like i like the the, the two fire button option i think is unique is different um and it works great so in the end of the day is a very very good looking mod with a very good looking tank works great but it has a few cons now first of all the tank no working on the mod got a little bit of the rattle the battery door no really really secure and the screen be dim ah oh, that make me say that i probably will not recommend especially when it was at 80 pounds this kit came out at 80 pounds no way uh, no with those flaws they're not massive flaws but it is enough to pull you out and for dual 21 700 and from a company like cks is called uh, cloud kicker society they you know they, they really so nice stuff in the past this one kind of kind of lay you down to be honest even though it looks great i love the looking of the mod feels good works great it is a few cons that let me tell you that you probably have better options on the market so i'm gonna leave this one really really up to you we're gonna wrap it up thanks for everything don't forget to like and subscribe i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time till there keep vaping